Coming up on 10 News Midday, the historic Lily Pond at Balboa Park is fully restored. How your donations made it all happen. Plus an emotional homecoming for sailors aboard the USS Cape St. George. What made the eight month long deployment so unusual. And new details in the Brittany Kilgore murder case. Why the DA might go for the death penalty. 10 News Midday starts right now. Live from San Diego's news source, 10 News Midday starts now. Good afternoon. Right now, work crews are wrapping up the temporary repairs to the Lily Pond at Balboa Park. Good afternoon. I'm Brian Flores. And I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. The Lily Pond was badly damaged 10 days ago by a controversial water fight. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins joins us live there with why the real work hasn't even started. Crews planted new roots today next to some that date back a century. This is one of the original parts of the park. All right, thank you very much. It's a day many families have been waiting months for. The USS Cape St. George is back in port after spending more than eight months at sea. 10 News reporter Melissa Macia is live at Naval Base San Diego with the amazing amount of miles the ship logged during its uh, deployment. Wonderful. I can't even describe it. All right, thank you, Melissa. Today, First Lady Michelle Obama is headed to Florida to announce a plan to tout the president's plan to employ tens of thousands of veterans. In the past year, 2,000 businesses around the country have hired or trained more than 125,000 veterans and their spouses. That's 25,000 more than the White House goal for the end of next year. Today, Michelle Obama will announce that those same companies have committed to hire or train an additional 250,000 veterans or spouses by 2014. Well, everyone who's anyone in the Republican Party is asking Representative Todd Akin to drop out of his race for Senate this midday. They clearly don't believe he can recover from that disastrous comment about rape. But as Karen Travers explains, Akin is standing his ground and has no plans to change his plans. Missouri Senate candidate Todd Akin is staying in the race. And today on Good Morning America, he was still trying to explain his divisive comments about rape and abortion. The point of the New details today in a very disturbing story. In about an hour, Armando Perez will be formally charged with murdering his estranged wife, Diana Gonzalez, two years ago. Perez was finally brought back to San Diego from Mexico just yesterday after being held for months awaiting extradition. 19-year-old Gonzalez had been married to 39-year-old Perez for nine months when she got a restraining order against him. Police say Perez killed her in a city college restroom and fled to Tijuana, where he was finally caught last February. 10 News, of course, will be in court for his arraignment this afternoon. And this midday, there are new allegations against the three people accused of killing 22-year-old Marine wife Brittany Kilgore. You may, you may remember this case. A newly amended complaint lists 42 overt acts indicating a criminal conspiracy to kidnap Kilgore, torture her, and kill her. Now, Luis Perez, Jessica Lopez, and Dorothy Maraglino were allegedly tried to involve Kilgore in their sadomasochistic relationship. We may learn more at their next court date in December, whether the DA will use the newly listed special circumstances to seek the death penalty. Right now, police are looking for the vandals who shot out several car windows with a BB gun overnight. Story we first brought you at 430 this morning. Broken glass was scattered on a two block stretch of 51st Street and, Cho and Choice Creek this morning. Four people woke up around midnight to find their car windows had been shattered. Witnesses told police they saw two people take off in a white sedan. A motorcyclist is in intensive care, unable to breathe on his own after crashing his bike on a freeway on ramp. It happened around 10 last night as he was getting on Interstate 8 at College Avenue. The CHP says for some reason the motorcyclist hit the curb and was launched directly into a metal pole. The College Avenue on ramp was closed while the CHP talked to witnesses who tried to help. We will update his condition throughout the day on 10 News and 10news.com. In San Diego, no fires all too well. Today, National City and Heartland firefighters made quick work of a brush fire near the Plaza Bonita Mall. The fire broke out around 1 this morning in a canyon between Plaza Bonita and the 805 freeway. After, after a, f a few minutes, rather, the first unit actually ran out of water and called for more units to fight the fire. They brought it under control in about 30 minutes. It's thought the fire was started by transients camping in the canyon. Today marks a huge milestone for dozens of young San Diegans who have stayed drug-free and law-abiding 
for nine months. 55 juveniles graduated today from the drug program in Grantville. Are you looking for a job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for a job, but if you are looking for a job, be prepared to answer some unusual questions during the interview process. Now, according to Glassdoor.com, more employers are asking prospective candidates bizarre and unusual questions to test their creativity and on-the-spot thinking. That's like a normal interview. Mm -hmm. For example, one consulting company asked candidates to name as many uses for a brick, yes, a brick, as they can in a minute, or what food items they would stock in a vending machine. I would That's stock lots of Cheez-Its. That's a tough one. <laughs> Cheez-Its, yes. pizza, if we can find out a way to... Keep it fresh, keep it hot, yeah, but my, that's a good question. And gummy bears as well. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, straight ahead on 10 News Midday, why the In-N-Out Burger chain is finding a new beef supplier. Then a tennis murder scandal involving a referee, why police believe she killed her husband with a coffee cup. Mm. And new revelations about what a psychiatrist told people about San Diego native James Holmes before that movie massacre. We'll be right back.